And today we're going to be interviewing people from the MIT conference. Georgie Porgy put in pie, kissed the girls and made them cry with all the boys. So come on, I'll show you what's inside. Georgie Porgy ran away, he ran away. Run, 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 run away. He ran away. My name is Jordan Palethorpe. Um, I'm currently a creative producer at Emerson College's Engagement Lab. In the long term, what is your game about and how do you think it will affect students? Them to, to play this game mm -hmm. and then to be able to take the ideas and projects that were created within that mm -hmm. and then apply those to those bigger community issues. I'm Mia Tess. I'm from Canton High School. Schools have math and science, but you think that they should have like engineering, technology, and art? You know, every school has an art side and an academic side. I just think there should be a better incorporation of those. Jan Hoy. I'm the uh, president of Jan Hoy Enterprises. Um, in the social media side of it, I still think, you know, just understanding that your social thumbprint, as soon as you put it down, that thumbprint is there forever. My name is Victor. Um, I'm here from Lynn English High School. So, um, what is your goal for things that you want to learn here today? I just want to learn, like, the more, like, the current technology that is used in TV production. Um, hi, my name is Kira. I'm from Heartland, Vermont. So what specifically have you learned about media literacy? So um, right when we got here, the keynote speech was amazing about um, how our technology is advancing and how we should be focusing as students on what computers can't do, like interpersonal skills and communication. I'm Scott Osterwell. I'm the creative director of the MIT Educational. All people uh, particularly kids, learn more through certain kinds of exploratory activities. Okay, so all of that was just the description of Zenus, and I'm going to swap over to showing you uh, what it looks like. We found that 83% um, of our students um, completed um, the 12-week course. Um, is it timed so the student feels like the pressure of having to answer it quickly, or do they have as much time as they need? It depends, but generally in the game, in the game and all the games that we make, we don't add time pressures. A big image, you, and the second thing is that meaning and design are not extras. That students need to know this by the time they get to, get to college. They need to understand the meaning of images, and they need to understand what is design, and they need to have practical experiences making meaning and making designs that are interesting. But concentrate on the four C's, so critical thinking, communication, collaboration, and creativity. Hi, so I'm Ronnie from One Beyond. We're a local company here in Charlestown. Um, we sell worldwide. Uh, we specialize in video systems. So this is an all-in-one TV studio that lets you switch between different camera angles and stream live through YouTube, review stream, and also report. So it's all self, very compact. But let me show you how simple it is to make a really um, professional looking TV broadcast. So joystick control, I can make it move to whatever I want to, and I can call up presets like preset 2, and it'll take me to a preset location. But the cool thing about this switcher is that I can also switch to media. I have pre-recorded videos, I can switch to those. I can switch to PowerPoint slides, and I can even do, what's really cool, is green screen. Oh, let me just show you a couple of other cool features, which is you can add titles as well. Whatever you want to do, this thing will let you do it, and you can create professional TV programs with just a little studio in a box. Georgie Porgy, putting it pie, kiss the girl. 